The Buzzwire Game, a game of skill and intense concentration. A game where even one wrong move means failure. Only the most talented athletes at their peak performance have ever conquered it. Do you have what it takes to join the legends of this game? Let's find out by making it at home. Are you ready? Then let's get... Oh no! To make this at home, you'll need the following items from an electronics store. A 9 volt battery and holder with an on and off switch, a buzzer, electrical tape, and 50 centimeters of insulated wire. You'll also need to buy these items from a hardware store. Two and a half millimeter thick wire, pliers that can cut wire, one centimeter thick dowel, and a round piece of wood that's about one and a half centimeters thick and 20 centimeters in diameter. If you want to save a bit of money, you can use a metal coat hanger instead of buying the wire. Start by using the pliers to bend the wire into any shape you like. I'm making mine look like Pikachu. I also thought about making the Electabuzz wire game and the Buzz Lightyear wire game, but they were a bit too hard. Just remember, the more bends and curves you put in the wire, the harder the game will be. Next, make the wire wand by cutting a 20 centimeter length of wire and looping one end around a texture or pen. Leave a small gap in the loop so you can put it on the wire later. The smaller you make the loop, the harder the game will be. Next, drill two holes, six centimeters apart, in the round piece of wood. The holes should be the same size as the wire, so I'm making them two and a half millimeters wide. I'm also going to give the base a coat of paint. You don't have to do this, but I think it'll look really cool. We're now ready to put all the pieces together. Slide the ends of the wire into the holes in the wooden base. Next, attach one end of the buzzer to the base of the wire using either a soldering gun or electrical tape. Then attach the other end of the buzzer to one end of the battery pack. Again, use a soldering gun or twist the wires together and cover them with electrical tape. We don't want the buzzer and battery pack moving around. So use a little bit of glue to attach them to the wooden base. Next, attach one end of the insulated wire to the straight end of the wire wand. Then lie the wand along a 15 centimeter long piece of dowel and wrap around it with electrical tape. Lastly, attach the other end of the insulated wire to the battery pack. And there it is. To use it, simply slide the wand onto the wire, add the nine volt battery and turn it on. Let's see how I go. So how does this work? This is a battery. It stores chemical energy and converts that energy into electrical energy. This battery has two electrodes, one that is negative and one that is positive. At the negative electrode, a chemical reaction occurs that releases electrons. At the positive electrode, a chemical reaction occurs that takes in electrons. If the battery isn't connected, these reactions stop. But as soon as we connect the two terminals together, with a metal wire, electrons flow from the negative electrode to the positive electrode, and the two reactions start again. More electrons are released, which flow through the wire and are taken in at the positive electrode. This flow of electrons provides an electric current. If we put the buzzer in the middle of the wire, electrons will flow through the buzzer and cause it to make a sound. But when we break the wire, the chemical reactions in the battery stop and no electrons flow. The same thing happens in the buzz wire game. When the metal loop touches the metal wire, electrons flow through the wire and the buzzer, which makes a sound. But when the metal loop isn't touching the wire, no electrons flow and the buzzer doesn't make a sound. So that's how it works. If you really want to impress someone, just turn the battery pack off completely. Hey Beck, check this out. Let me try that. Sure thing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Silly Science with Simon.